Now I'm going to be honest for a second, there is a very good chance you've been forgetting to bring the most important piece of airsoft gear with you this entire time you've been playing. That item is a well-packed and readily available first aid kit. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well airsoft isn't that dangerous, and honestly you're right. These guns are designed specifically for the sport, and with the right safety equipment there's practically zero chance of injury. But that isn't how people really get hurt in airsoft though. In most cases, it's actually the field or the arena that causes problems. They can be filled with tripping hazards, sharp objects, all while our attention needs to be focused on someone trying to shoot at us. Accidents are inevitable, so today we're going to look at some of the basic items you should be considering when packing a first aid kit for yourself. Now this is what you might call a very well used first aid kit. We've used this for a number of purposes, airsoft, camping, you name it, and we repack it for pretty much every use case that we need it for. So like with everything else, make sure that you're tailoring it to your specific needs. All right, let's get right into it. One of the first things on the outside, if we are dealing with some kind of injury, we want to make sure that we're keeping clean before we deal with any of this stuff. This is why we're trying to so we want to make sure if we've got a bunch of dirt and grime on our hands that we're dealing with that. But if you need to do something a little bit more intricate or you don't know the person, some nitrile gloves down here and some alcohol wipes to clean the area. Now this compass looks a little random in here, I'll give you that. But I like to think of a first aid kit as not only for medical emergencies, but also survival. So with that being said, let's go to the common side of things. We've got various types of medical tape for different purposes. Now the most common thing that you're going to be dealing with likely are just small little cuts and scrapes and things like that. And it can be nice to make sure that you've got a covering on it while you're running around playing airsoft because it's not exactly what I'd call a sterile environment. Getting back here, we've got pads and sponges. A lot of these kits do come with instructions and I would keep these for yourself or if someone else is the one who has to do the first aid. Burn gel, well, this is kind of more of a camping thing, but definitely nice to have. Heating pads for those lovely winter moments when you're just sitting in a snowbank and letting your extremities freeze off. Now these are critically important. You'll notice that most of my kit is in plastic bags and that's because most of the camping that I do is near water. So these in particular, I had to make sure were extra protected because they are actually made to dissolve in water. So what are they? Well, they're hydration tablets. On particularly hot days or days where you're more active, these are great because it allows you to get the most out of the water you do have. And sometimes depending on the area that you're playing, it's not easy to get more. Ah, uh, yes. We all have to deal with bug bites when we're out in the field, and sometimes people request these. And keep in mind when you're packing these first aid kits that not everything is for you, it's for a team. Got some antibiotic ointment, super important to have. Now the right side is a little bit more for extreme emergencies. We've got a gauze roll, we also have a tensor bandage. Oh, another hot pad. More applicators. Sewing kit for, well, potentially repairing gear or other things. A pair of tweezers because ticks are the enemy. Small pair of cutting shears, which I keep meaning to replace because these things are absolutely atrocious. And just a few bobby pins. It can be so easy to overlook this kind of stuff because we don't think about it until it does happen. Safety is a huge priority, so make sure that you're taking care of yourself and potentially others in the case of an emergency. Now there's lots to cover on this subject and we're going to be going over that in the very near future, so make sure you're subscribed. Now when it comes to safety, another thing that we need to make sure that we've got squared away is our eye protection. We actually made a video of us uh, testing them out. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Thanks so much for watching. Class is dismissed. Oh, shit. Oh, forget this.